Happy October and happy Halloween, everybody. I am really excited to bring this look to you today. This is costume number three out of four for my curly hair costume inspiration. And we're moving away from the more generic ideas and into actual characters. Today, specifically, I am looking at Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And this is her blue dress look. Belle has always just been one of my favorite Disney characters and my favorite Disney princess. I just have a lot in common with her. Um, we both really love books. I am a huge bookworm. I just, I love to read. I have way too many books that I will never be able to read them all. And that is okay. <laughs> so that is something I've always had in common with her. So I really wanted to show you this costume today. I'm going to run through the entire costume, but I will be spending more time focusing on the hair this time around. I have a few different ways you can do this hairstyle based on your skill level, but also based on your actual hair and the hairstyle that you have. So let's go ahead and get started if you are new to my channel. Hi, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. Starting off, we're just going to blaze through makeup really quick. I don't want to focus on this too much. If you need more information about how I do this process, you can check out my last two videos. Uh, I did go into a little bit more depth in those two. Other than that, I just want to comment, I will be linking everything down in the description box below, just in case you want to check out any of these products. The one thing that I did want to comment on here is just that I did go for a very natural look today. That was my main inspiration was just really low key, almost non-existent makeup, uh, just because I felt like that fit the character a lot better. That being said, let's go ahead and get started and let's just blaze through this process. Hopping into the costume, I'm going to walk through this really quick. So this is just kind of one that I found on Amazon, just typed in Beauty and the Beast Belle blue dress and this popped up. The only thing I want to note here is that I did specifically go for the one that was not satin. I'm not a huge fan of the way satin looks on my body, so I very specifically went non-satin. Not only that, but I feel like going with some other fabric tends to look a little more authentic. So this is the costume that I found. It came with a few different pieces. It has the just a white blouse. It came with a white apron as well, just a classic white apron. And then the actual blue dress itself, nice and long with a nice little decoration at the bottom. And last but not least, it actually came with a bow as well, which is nice. I'm glad it came with a hair bow. This costume did actually come with a hoop skirt. I don't think it's super necessary for this costume since in the actual movie the the dress is very flowy it doesn't have a lot of volume to it but go for it if you want to that was just something i wanted to note since i don't have it here with me and then the last thing for the shoe i just went with a very simple basic black flat all of this i will link down in the description box below in case you want to check it out that being said we'll go ahead and move on now last step for this costume is the hair so I am on day two hair. I washed my hair yesterday and I used the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. I do recommend doing this style on day two, even three hair. It really just depends on your own hair, how your hair refreshes, how it holds up. But for me, my hair doesn't always last into day three with the curls on the bottom. But I do know that if I put my hair back in a ponytail, 
the definition at the root is just going to go away. Uh, and I can't really refresh that back. So I don't like to do this necessarily on day one because it's just kind of ruining my hair for the rest of the week. So this portion of this is kind of just mix and match depending on your personal preference, of course. And then it also kind of depends on the haircuts that you have. So do you have, you know, fringe bangs? Do you have curtain bangs? Do you have hair that's all one length? Because we definitely need to take that into consideration when we're thinking about how we style our hair. So um, I'm gonna walk through with you a few different things that you can do to get this particular look and let's go ahead and get started. So this is style number one, or I guess option number one for how you can do this style. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm kind of just going to pull all my hair back. If you have shorter bangs like I do, I'm just gonna let these fall out. I have other plans for these. If you don't have bangs like this and your hair is all in length, you may just wanna gather all of your hair at this point. So I'm just gonna gather it all at the nape of my neck and you're just gonna use a ponytail and you want to tie this pretty loosely. You don't want this to be super tight to your head. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our finger and we're going to run it down our hair and kind of split it into two. You're going to pull it apart a little bit just to make sure there's a nice opening and nice clearing for your hair to go through because what we're going to do next is we're going to flip our hair up and tuck it through that hole. And what that's going to give you is it's going to give you some nice kind of rolls on the side of your head. And what you can do, you can also tug those out a little bit and that will just give them a little bit more volume. All right, and now with the bangs, what we're gonna do with these is this is where our bobby pins come in. If you want it at this step, you could come in and tease this or you could manipulate it in some way depending on your skill level just to get a little more volume. I don't like to tease my hair at that and I just don't really know how to do it properly, so I'm not gonna bother with that. But I'm just gonna kind of pucker it up a little bit and then kind of hold it in place with one hand while I twist the rest of this bang area. And then while I hold that in place, I'm gonna grab a bobby pin and tuck that down in. And you wanna make sure that any tails are kind of tucked back under the, the rest of that roll that we've already created. So I know in parts of the movie, Belle does have kind of a little strand that gets pulled loose. Um, and you could definitely do that if you wanted to. It really just, again, depends on your preference. You could also just leave it all up together, make it really uniform and tidy. So then you're just gonna pucker this up, hold it in place, twist it back. And if you wanted, of course, you could always tease this a little bit after the fact, and you could use hairspray to kind of set it in place just to make sure it's sitting where you want it to. And last step, of course, is the bow. So this is kind of the easier of the two options. This is one that if I was doing this in the morning, I would probably reach for just because it's a lot easier. It's a lot simpler. It doesn't take that much time. Uh, let me go ahead and show you this from all different angles. I think this one is close enough to the desired effect. That being said, I think the other one is a little bit closer to what we're looking for. So let me go ahead and take my hair down and show you that second style. This is option number two for our hairstyles. So this one is again, a little bit more complicated, but I think it's still not too horribly tricky. And I think this one is a little bit easier to manipulate and get it to look the way you want it to. I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can do this. It really, again, just kind of depends on your haircuts. Do you have these curtain bangs or not. So if you do have curtain bangs, I would leave them out at this point and kind of just pull them out of the way. You could even pin these to the side or just clip them away just to get them out of your way. I am gonna leave these out of my final look, but I kind of want to show you what you could do if you didn't have bangs and your hair was all one length. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top here and you can kind of pucker it up just to get that starting look there and then you're gonna twist. Add a little bit of hair and twist. Add a little bit of hair and twist. And you're gonna just do this all the way down to the nape of your neck. And so this is giving us this rolled look along here. And you can tug on this and pull on it to get the desired height, to get the desired everything out of it. And you can do that after you put it up as well. But I just wanted to show you what it would look like if you started from up here, but I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do, 
Like I said, I'm still gonna leave my bangs out, and then I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start down at the bottom of my bangs, and I'm just gonna start here. But I'm still doing that rolling technique. And then once I get down to the bottom here, you can kind of just clip it temporarily in place with a, just any kind of clip, or you could bobby pin that. And then I'm gonna come over here to this other side, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And then now that I'm down at the bottom, I'm going to take that clip out, make sure this is nice and tight, and pop in a ponytail. And again, like our last style, we can come in and we can tease this out to get a little bit more volume to it. Now again, with the bangs, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. We're gonna kind of do, the bangs are pretty much the same either way, um, just kind of popping them up and then twisting. It's just a little easier with this one to hide it up under the rest of this roll. And even once you have it bobby pinned, you could still tease. And of course there's hairspray to really help with this particular look. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side, just pushing it up, giving it a little bit of volume, twisting. And there's your finished look. I particularly think that this one works a little bit better because it does give you more of that rolled look and it does show a little bit more of the division between the two, which if you look at a picture of the cartoon version of Belle, it does look like there's kind of separate units. So I'm gonna throw in my bow really quick and I'm gonna show you from all angles what this looks like. One thing to keep in mind with this is when you're doing that roll along the side of your head, you want to add in just very small pieces. You don't want to add too much in at once or you're not going to get much of this rolled look. So again, just kind of tease it out to where you want it to be. Give your hair a little spritz with some hairspray if you want to help keep it in place. I just am using, this is the Pantene airspray and that will really help to kind of just hold it in place as well as a day goes on and kind of help give keep the volume in those front pieces. So this is the look in a nutshell. I think that it turned out really good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. That being said, I do wanna hear from you. What do you think? Is hairstyle number one or hairstyle number two better for this particular look? I do want to comment on this very briefly. I know there will be a lot of people who are like, Belle doesn't have curly hair. So that I say, if you wanna give a character curly hair, give a character curly hair, do what makes you happy. If you wanna dress up as whatever character, just embrace it and make it you. Not only that, but I know that if Belle did have curly hair, she would probably embrace it and just wear her hair curly. That is something I try to keep in mind as well, is the spirit of the character. And I have naturally curly hair, so I'm going to wear it curly with this costume. If you wanted to with this look, you could definitely straighten your hair or just give it a slight wave or a slight curl to it. That being said, I like the way this turned out. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. There is one more thing I wanna comment on. I have one more costume coming next week. It is another Disney character and I would like you to guess. My hints are that it is not a Disney princess, but they are a, they are one of the cartoon characters. Leave your guesses down below. And if you do want to see that, like and subscribe. I do post a new video every Tuesday. If you like content like this, like and subscribe. I also do curly hair content with styling, uh, just different product reviews, things like that. So hopefully I will see you next time.